Hello, welcome back to MTUR Guide. I had a viewer request to go over the add object bounding boxes from requester recognition. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. These hits uh, require a 95% approval rating. Location is um, one of these states, um, or not one of these states, I apologize. And then the adult content, adult content qualification is one, which I've encouraged everybody to go ahead and get that qualification and then you know sort through the offerings um, and decide at your discretion which ones you want to have you want to do because realistically not everything is going to be you know um, adult oriented it's just that something may slip through that's adult oriented especially when you're dealing with photos like with this particular hit they're dealing with photos and I don't think they can vet every single photo that comes through so one might sneak in there so you just gotta be aware of that um, okay so what they're asking you to do in this hit is to look at the subject here, which is a doodle. And you want to determine if there's a doodle in the picture that's provided. You want to bound the doodle and then move on. Here they have a description. Generally, the description seemed to be pulled from Wikipedia or another, you know, well-known definition, informational encyclopedia type website. So. Um, once in a while, I find that I don't know, I don't fully understand what the topic is. And sometimes I have to go and look it up real quick. Um, <clears throat> so sometimes you have to do that. But if you go to like the major sites, you're usually going to see the same verbiage as what you saw it pulled through the description. Um, so, you know, you just make sure you know what the what the option is here. I mean, I realize this is a kind of a slang term, I think almost doodle It's a doodle is a drawing, essentially, or kind of a um, you know, they're describing it here while a person, person's attention is otherwise occupied. That's a little subjective because, you know, a person could be otherwise occupied and make a, a, a masterpiece or they can make a stick figure. It all depends on the talent of the person. So for this purpose, I'm just going to say anything that appears to be drawn is I'm going to count as a doodle. Um, some of the examples over here kind of back up that thought process. I mean, for me, these are incredibly good, quote unquote, doodles. I, I can't even draw a, straw, straw, uh, a stick figure straw straw man whatever um so to me those are great um but yeah and then the instruction um if you want to get into the instructions you can go ahead and read them here and just hover over um it gives you the the step-by-step -step instru instructions but i'll demonstrate them here for you so i'm not going to bother to read them to you um quickly there's a three hour timer on these which means they're great to hoard them and, and hold on to them just don't don't let them expire at a three hour timer you should be able to do these with no problem um, well, I pulled this one up. There's 898 available and there's, they're 20 cents per hit. Generally they pay at a rate of one cent per picture. So there's, some of them have 50 pictures and you get 50 cents. Some people feel they're not worth the time for the money. I personally do. I find them to be very easy. Occasionally you come across one where, um, there's like a whole, but like, it'll say, look at, you know, bound all the apples and it has an apple orchard with a million apples. Yeah. I mean that, that, becomes quickly not worth it but that's kind of one one in very you know in very many pictures that you come across that you've got to do that type of work on them so so yeah um i like them you know it depends on what else is going on like anything you know it, it's like your eyes i say your mileage may vary you know it, it depends on what you have available to you based on your qualification you know what other options you have outside of mturk things like that so you know for me they do tend to be worth it for what you have to do all right, so I'm gonna go through this one real quick. I'll talk through it as I go. So I see here the first picture. I see my progress is zero out of 20, this being the first picture, and there's a doodle. So what I do is I, I click on where I wanna start the bounding box and I pull down on my mouse or my trackpad and I pull it to the point where it's got the whole thing encased and then I release and I click again, okay? And then what happens is you get these little boxes which you can you know, you can adjust it, whatever. If you don't like the box for some reason, although you can pick up the whole box and move it right within the picture, but if for some reason you don't like the box, like it's completely wrong, you can go ahead and get rid of it by clicking here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. I push down, I pull with, it, with the button held down and I release. Okay, I'm looking and it's got everything bounded pretty nicely. It's, you know, you want it bounded as tightly as you can. Okay, and then what you do is you just click outside the box and all the little dots go away and you're good. Now, if you wanted to redo that box, because once you, you went ahead and clicked on it, for some reason it wasn't right, just go ahead and click again, 
would in the box and your thing, your little dots show up again, you can go ahead and pull them again. So that's basically it. And then when you're, you've done the box and you're happy with it, you go ahead and hit next. Okay. And again, um, you know, I see this whole thing as being one doodle, so I'm going to pull it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and click it. Now what happens sometimes, and I want you to be aware, it's not happening right now, but occasionally what will happen is because I'm using a trackpad, I go ahead and I click it. And, and as I'm clicking it, I'm, I think I'm hovering my finger over and it goes off to the right. And so sometimes the box lands a little bit to the right. So just be cognizant of where you have your fingers on your mouse or your trackpad, because it may be causing the box to move a little bit when you don't intend for it to move. Um, so yeah, so in these ones, you're talking the whole picture is the doodle, you know, as far as I'm concerned and, you know, you got to get that whole picture in there. And sometimes that's a little bit difficult. So you want to bring it as far into the edges as you can and you go ahead and you, uh, and you click on the, on the outside the box so that the whole picture is in there. Okay. So this one is pretty easy given that each picture in of itself is a, is a doodle. Um, again, if you went on and you were like, geez, oh, I didn't, I don't like what I did in the last one or it was wrong. You can just hit previous next. Um, you know, here is an interesting one, right? Like you could decide that each one of these is a separate doodle, you know, if you want, and I'm going to do it just for the sake of argument here. So I can show you how you would do each little one. Like I was saying before in a doodle, right? Each one of these we're counting as a separate doodle. Um, and you just go ahead and you put every single one into a box. Sometimes because you're so closely together, you gotta kind of do a box and then and then uh, move it appropriately. Like that's what I had to do there because otherwise you're overlapping a little bit and overlapping is okay. Um, but sometimes when you go to overlap and you click in, you accidentally re, uh, you kind of reopen the box that you just closed and not intending to. So sometimes that's why you see why I pull from the bottom here occasionally and see, I made that one a little bigger and then I'm just going to move it over. The boxing overlapping boxes is okay because they can kind of look at each one. I mean, this is the way I've been doing it for a while and I have had no issues. I mean, looking at this one, somebody could say, yeah, the whole picture is one doodle or each picture is a separate doodle. Um, you know, however you feel about it. I mean, you've got to put your justification forward for how you want to do your work. Um, I'm more doing this to show you how, you know, the idea of having multiples in one could, uh, could it could be construed that way and how you would handle when there's multiples in one. Um, you know, you want to be as precise as you can about the pictures. Um, but once you get into the overlap, it does get a little harder sometimes to be as precise as you were in the beginning. Um, so yeah, so let's keep going through here. I'll do all of these and hopefully I won't run into any others that are like this and I can fly through the rest of these for you. Probably not overly fun to watch me doing this, but you can see when I'm doing a bunch in a row like this that, um, that uh, the other one that I just did sort of automatically, uh, because I'm clicking outside of that box, it automatically closes. So that's the advantage of doing them in a row like this is the, the previous box just goes ahead and accepts while you're moving on to the next one. So that's kind of good. Um, all right, this one I got to move over. Oh, and then sometimes so you'll do it. I just did, right? You pulled it by the X by accident. And so it closes. So you got to be careful of that. I mean, you're working on a pretty small scale here. Um, so you've got to be cognizant of, of what you're doing. Um, you know, here I'm taking these two shoes and I'm calling it one doodle. Again, that's, you know, your discretion, depending on what you see. Uh, um, okay. You know, again, this is my interpretation of it. If you feel that a whole picture is one doodle, you can go ahead and you know, do that that way. That's fine too. Um, there's some where you clearly went in the instructions. They're very clear that each item, you know, they're very specific that each item needs to be, you know, to be, um, to be called out. Um, you know, here you could call this one big doodle if you want. I mean, again, to me, that looks like one cohesive picture where the other one was a bunch of little 
doodles all to, you know, put on one paper. I mean, that's, that's kind of my, and you saw that moved slightly to the right when I did that. That's my, my thought process on it. But again, as I said, you know, if you decide how you're going to do it and you stick to that same philosophy throughout the hit, then, you know, that's how you justify how you, you know, why you did it a certain way. And that's, that's fine. You know, that's, that's how I do it. You know, I make, I make a philosophy as to how I'm thinking about the hit. And then I can, I keep the continuity and there you saw it just move right again. Cause I had my finger over the trackpad and then, you know, and then you can justify why you did something a certain way if you need to. Now I've never been rejected by these folks, but you know, to me, it's easier to justify having done something a certain way if you did it consistently all the way through. So, um, so yeah, so let's go through this. Now, if at some reason, see, this is the doodle, I don't consider the writing to be a doodle, so I'm going to kind of keep that out. Um, if you come to something that's not a doodle, like let's say, for example, I get a picture of like the Mona Lisa in the Louvre, right? Um, if I get a picture of the Mona Lisa in the Louvre, I'm going to go ahead and say that that's not a doodle, right? Because we all know it's a well-known piece of art. Um, and the fact that the picture is, you know, looks like an art gallery to me, it looks like the Louvre, um, you know, it's familiar to me. I'm going to say that that's not a doodle, right? And so all you would do in that case is you would just hit skip. And Skip is telling them that, you know, you looked at it, you decided that there is no doodle in this picture anywhere to be found, and therefore you're just, you're bypassing that picture. Um, as opposed to kind of filling nothing in and then having them wonder if you just accidentally hit Skip or, you know, or, or whatever, or, you know, just hitting Next. Sorry, what I mean is if you just had to hit Next and that was it, um, then, you know, they would kind of wonder if you actually saw it or not. So Skip is kind of that that button that says, yeah, I looked at it. I decided it's not a doodle for whatever reason. And, uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and skip this one without putting anything inside it. So, you know, again, there is a um, some there is some um, in, in a case like the Louvre, you know, like a picture of the Mona Lisa. <laughs> you know, I don't think that should be should be any question there but again you know it could be somebody might not know that's what it is and um but the fact that it's a picture should should give you a sense that it's not necessarily a a doodle um you know but i i, I tend to find that the pictures are fairly obvious in here um you know i don't find them to be i don't find it to be too questionable um you know, and there are a lot of them. So I, I struggle to say if they actually do every single, if they look at every single one of these or if they just spot check them or how they do it. Um, I'm not even sure what the, um, what the purpose of it would be to do this, but you know, these requesters have their reasons. So, um, I don't ask questions. I just kind of do the work. So, all right. So I think that's pretty much everything I felt was a do it all. Oh, let's do it right there. Okay. All right. Good one. Okay. Yeah, this appears to be a, a full doodle right there. So another, you know, huge set of doodles. These almost look like tattoos, maybe. One of those tattoo screens. So anyways, I'm going to go through all of these. Um, oops. See, I got to move that one. Oh, now I got to read. There we go. Okay. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of, of how these work. Um, you know, unfortunately, the example that I got did have a whole bunch of um, random doodles in there. So it's a little bit more difficult than a standard one. Like the one I did before this was all car grills. It was very simple. There was like a car in each one and a grill in each one. So, um, so I just wanted to show you all exactly how this works. Um, so what, I'm going to go back and do these, but, um, but yeah, so if I didn't think there was any doodles in here, I would skip it. And then when you get to the end, which I'm going to show you, because it does hold your work. Um, when you went through, you would hit submit. I'm not going to hit submit because I'm not done with this. I can go back to the previous ones and it does hold on to your work as you'll see. So, so yeah, that's recognition. Um, as I said, don't, don't, um, 
get too put off by the particular one I pulled, you know, it happens, you know, I've pulled a bunch of these that are, you know, like a million in the, in a little one, but it actually goes by pretty fast. So with only 20 in the batch, um, in each hit, it's not that bad. Um, but usually for every, you know, one of these you get, you'll probably get like 20 or 25 that are super duper easy. So alrighty, as always, if you have any questions, please comment, like, subscribe, send me a message, let me know what's going on. Let me know how your turking adventure is going. And I hope to post more videos in the very near future. Thanks everybody and have a great turking day.